What's up guys, Shane Starnes with Droid Modder X here. Phone screen sizes seem to be getting larger and larger. The trend continues even with the Apple iPhone. Now the iPhone has taken care of this with a feature called reachability, basically by double tapping the home screen on an iPhone you will reduce the screen size by half, making everything super easy to reach. Overscan is a feature built into Android that allows developers to set the screen size uh, automatically for all devices. You can actually tinker with Overscan to get reachability on any Android device. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Let's go ahead and get started. To achieve reachability on any Android device is actually pretty simple. You do have to be rooted and you do have to be running Android 4.3 or higher, but those are really the only requirements. You could go on your computer and just type in the command from your computer. Uh, but what I found to work perfectly was Tasker. So if we open up Tasker, you see I've already made my commands here. So what you'll do is go to task and then you'll name it. So I'll just name this test, save that. And you'll click plus to add an action. You're gonna go to code, run shell. You'll type in your command. So it's WM overscan, and then you'll type in your parameters. So I'm using zero comma 500 comma zero comma zero. Scroll down and make sure that you check use root. Okay, and then you'll go back, back, and you'll go to profiles, add a new profile, go to event, sensor, gesture, and then name this gesture. Okay, and then to create your pattern here, uh, you're just gonna long press volume down or volume up, do your fir first point, and then do, go to your second point, just click it once, and then go to your last point and long hold it again. Okay, so once you have your parameter set for your gesture, uh, you'll just go back. Okay, and then you'll add a task, which is test, so that's there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one off because I don't really need to use that one. I already have mine uh, configured. Once you've enabled the reachability mode, that will persist through your reboot. So you're gonna wanna also make a task for resetting that. So what we're gonna do is go to task again, and we'll just name it test reset. Okay, add an action. We're gonna go back to code, run shell, and then here we will type the code WM over scan reset okay we will go back go to profiles add a profile event sensor gesture okay here you'll make another gesture i would suggest making the opposite pattern so if you started out on your gesture to enable it this way i would start out this way so long press short press long press okay when that is finished we'll go back and we'll add our task. Okay, so that's saved. I'm gonna turn it off for now and then I'll show you how this actually works. Okay, so there is reachability mode on Android. So you guys can see it shrunk it down to half the screen. Uh, if I was in the Play Store and I wanted to reach something, you know, way up high, you guys can see that it just basically just shrinks the screen way down here. So there's reachability mode on any Android device. Okay, so to reset it, we'll just do the reset gesture and then we're back to normal. All right guys, that about wraps it up for the reachability mode on any Android tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com, news.howandandroid.com, droidforums.net. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed. I will see you in the next one.